Hey guys, it's uh, September the 16th, um, 2011, and uh, I'd like to first of all, like I say, uh, thanks Creek Dalton for helping me out on this one. Uh, after you steered me in the right direction, uh, I have to say I probably agree with you for sure. Um, I went and looked it up, and uh, I don't know how I missed it, but I guess it was that base right there that kind of messed me up a little bit, but... Uh, I appreciate it, I really do, and uh, thank you very much. Um, I'd say, uh, tell you guys that uh, I will have some more videos coming, um, you know, actual hunts. Uh, I'm having problems with my other camera getting the video transferred to the computer. Um, I can get the video, but I can't get the sound, so uh, I'm not real uh, genius when it comes to computer stuff, so... Uh, my boy's coming down this weekend. He's gonna help me resolve the issue, and hopefully we can uh, get some uh, neat little uh, arrowhead hunting videos on there. Um, but anyway, in the meantime, I, there's something pretty cool. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool, so I thought I'd put it on there and show it. Now, this is a hemp hill. Uh, sport at 5,000 years old. It, it's you know in pretty good shape. But here's the neat thing. That is a Ben Pearson deadhead made probably mid 70s or so. But this is what I, is neat. Check this out. It's exactly just like that 5,000 year old tip. Identical. All things missing is the ears. But, you know, when you get to glue it on a stick, you know, I guess you don't need to need the ears. But it's it's identical. I mean, it lines up perfectly. Let's see if I can get a better view of it here. Perfect. So, anyways... I thought that was pretty cool. So uh, anyway, stick with me, guys. Uh, as soon as I get some more, or get my video situation figured out, I'll I'll have more. Um, appreciate it. Y'all have a good and good good hunting. Bye.